Happy New Year! Alright, Condo Garage, you got like it so hot. Um, get these shoes on this thing, they shot. I have to put new shoes on again. And I don't know about these drums, there's a big ridge on these. I don't know if these are even turnable. I mean, it's freaking bad. We'll just get some new ones. I don't know. So we're up against. What do you think? It's been a long time since I turned any drums. That is a big ridge. Turnable. That is deep. I wish I had some sort of. Uh, look at that. AC Delco. Piece of crap. Shoes. Coming apart. That's why I did that to the drum. I believe the surface of the, uh, the shoe is harder than the drum. But, uh, yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Now, the ridge is so bad that I can't get this drum back on. But you know what? Today I'm not fighting. I'm not going nuts. We're not going to do that in 2015 anymore. It's a beautiful cloudy day. A little warm, but I guess not hot. It's gonna get worse here. It's gonna be 90 degrees again soon. It's gonna be a horrible place to live for many, many months. Just sitting inside, waiting for the heat to break. Kind of like sitting inside, waiting for winter to end. But it's uh, reverse, and the uh, the summer here lasts a lot longer than the winter anywhere else. So hope everyone has a uh, a good. 2015. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be a better year. I hope it is. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate it. Like the comment. Uh, yeah, have some good ideas, everyone. I, I don't know. If I didn't have uh, my little YouTube channel, I probably wouldn't have anything around here. That's pretty much what it is. Look at that little hit. That's all it needed. How's that echo? Anyway, it's fun getting back in here doing something, even though it's just maintenance stuff. It's better than sitting on your ass and doing nothing because if you don't do it, well, if you don't do it, nobody's gonna do it. So, have a good one. Happy New Year. Let's get this thing back together. We gotta order some parts. Check what the, uh, the front's doing next and maybe uh, flush out the brake fluid. Funny part is, I loosened this adjuster like big time and I still can't get this thing on. What happened? You know, you just let stuff go to hell here, and this is what happens. It's kind of depressing, but, you know, it is what it is. That ridge is just hitting on all those little spots in these shoes. It's so bad. I'll try to get it off again and back it off some more. It's going to have to come off a week later, do things the easy way. Safe diameter 11.67 inch. And uh, it's just a part number. I'll try to look for that. Just probably just buy new drums. A hundred dollars a piece though, which sucks, but is it worth dealing with the headache or uh, spending more time? It's hot out. That mess. Did it though, that's all that matters. Gotta stay positive. You don't do it again, nobody's going to. Hope one day I won't be seeing this. I hope it's soon. Not the, not the truck, but just this whole place. Gravity bleeding it, or gravity flushing it. Alrighty, it's a little less green. So it slowly drips out. I'm just doing the front. The back never works too good. I think it has to deal with um, drum brakes. They just don't flow as well as with this brake caliper, I'm thinking. I don't know. Or maybe it has a funny thing with a line that goes up and down. Who knows? But this won't go well. But the front I found is really always easy to do this with. Okay, that was your green stuff. Go up, 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 up. It's pretty clear. It fell off again there too. Yeah, look at that. I can't believe it. It's green. You know why I think it's green? It's that ATE uh, German stuff that was in there before. Now I'm just using Valvoline and being cheap. Stuff from the parts store. See how that holds up. Save the ATE for the uh, pickup. The other one. Not having fun. We're not.
Holy shit, look at this, because I got one side, this thing's going to fall off the jack. Wow. Yeah, it might. It might on that side. Oh god. I hate jack stands. Video number 26, though. Oh, I hate jack stands. Yeah, we're going to have a lift, man. I know it. So, stay positive. Say it's going to happen. That will. Seemed like I said I was going to go uh, change your drum brakes and uh, plus the brake fluid. Six months. Happened today. I have the right attitude. Things help. And that's what we're going to work on in uh, 2015. Don't freak out about stupid brakes. Not worth it, and uh, don't let anyone stop what you want to do in life. Oh my God! You see that shit? I'm gonna fall off that jack stand over there. <laughs> Oops. Well, if anyone has a fish tank and I need some water for it, let me know. That's crazy. Um, yeah, it's not perfect. I think next time I get like an Ace Hardware flyer and I have a pump sprayer, I'm gonna go drill one of these caps out, get one from the junkyard. And um, yeah, drill it out, put a fitting in it, and then get a pump sprayer so I can pump it up. I think you fill the pump sprayer up with brake fluid too. I saw it on the internet, I never used it. We used to have shit like that at Yoda, like something would go in the top, and then we have like a vacuum that was sucking on all four of the uh, bleeders, but it always drew air into the system, so you have to go around at the end and uh, bleed out all the brakes. Because it would pull air through the bleeders. But, well, got something done. And again, it's a cloudy day. It's warm, but it's not hot. So it's not so bad. I was gonna make a whole how-to video on how to change brake fluid and everything, but really? Come on, people, you probably know how to do that. But let's shut this down, clean this mess up, put all the cars back, and next week maybe, uh, and get back to that and this door too is really really screwed up it needs uh hinge pins there's a couple different kits you gotta like cut off these little um little rivet things and then the door just unbolts here boom boom unconnect it pulls right off but yeah there's a couple different ones i'm looking at look at that whoop that's bad dude a lot of play in there you gotta do that I think I'm the only one in the world that torques their lug nuts. I like to do it. And you ensure that, you know, the wheel's not going to fall off. Because I had an experience where someone actually had a loose wheel in their car. And I'm surprised that we didn't all die. But we didn't. And, uh, yeah, so just, you know, you make sure you have a tool, use it. And you can make sure that everything's equally tight. It makes you sleep better at night. And because I'm nuts, I line up each center cap with the valve stem. So GMC faces down like that. That's my trick. So if anyone took off my center cap, <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> I doubt no one would ever pick up on that unless you're watching this. See? And it looks more uniform. Some cars are actually like fancy ones, they only go on one way. It's kind of weird, the key, the center caps. A little better. Go for that. Yeah, we still got a broken exhaust manifold bolt. Talking about that for years. And uh, I want to straighten that exhaust pipe that's hanging down. I'm going to talk to my cool uh, exhaust guy before he's not around anymore. You know how that works, people. One day they're here, one day they're not with us anymore. It's another thing about 2015, you know, appreciate what you got. Uh, things are changing fast. I'm getting old. Everyone's getting old. But we had some fun. We like working on stuff. And this would be better if, um, you know, it'd be real cool if we had a garage like this. Like, away from the house. And then, uh, you know, I had a spot where I can just leave cars instead of having to move them. That would be really, really nice. But one day. Every dollar counts. You gotta save a dollar, make a dollar.